Well, for Women's History Month this March, look in your pocket for new quarters this year featuring Dr. Polly Murray, the trailblazer you might not know. Here to tell us more about her and why she's now featured on newly circulating U.S. quarters is celebrity historian Rafi Andonian. Rafi, thank you so much for being here today. Of course, celebrating Women's History yes. Month with the new U.S. quarters. <laughs> yes, so can you tell me a little bit about Dr. Polly Murray and, and just who she is? I know that she's an incredible civil rights activist. That's right. A little and, bit more. She's featured on the New Quarters yes. in 2024, and she was a civil rights a activist. She was a lawyer, a teacher, a priest. She was actually the wow. first African-American woman ordained as a priest in the Episcopal Church. Oh, how interesting. And her ancestors really interesting, too. She has ancestors that were both enslaved and slave owner, and, okay. he, and she had to deal with a lot in her family. For example, her mother died of a cerebral hemorrhage. Her oh, father wow. was beaten to death with a baseball bat mm -hmm. when he was in a mental hospital by the guard due to racism. And these kinds of things affected her. Mm. She went to she went to undergrad and then applied to graduate school and she got rejected at University of North Carolina because of her race because she was oh. African American. And then so she, she shifted and and went, went to graduate school for law in Howard. Now what also happened though okay. is long before Rosa Parks she got arrested for sitting in the wrong place on a bus before oh, Rosa did Parks. She yes now? she did. Oh wow so uh, an incredible woman. Can you tell Just us right. a little bit about why she's on the quarter now? Yeah because she's being on Honored for her achievements mm. and so the quarter program is known as the American Women it's Quarters incredible. program and there are five women a year that are featured she's the latest one in 2024 and we're uh, and there's 20 qu total quarters for four years so five a year and these are the first quarters mm. ever dedicated entirely to women and That's her incredible. her achievements in civil rights are yes. exactly kind of why she's there now she helped establish now the National Organization for Women okay. she also broke barriers at multiple universities including Yale wow. and Berkeley had multiple law degrees and those incidents that she went through are what inspired her to go into law Now, one of the biggest things that really mm -hmm. happened was as a writer she wrote a book about Jim Crow law segregation yes, laws yes. that book and also even her law paper okay. was cited later in Brown v board by the attorneys including Thurgood Marshall who argued wow. against segregation so that's the kind of impact that's incredible that no she wonder had. why she has a quarter now yeah. it says can you talk to me a little bit about the inscription just really yeah. quickly yeah it says hope it has her face on yes. it and it says hope in a weary throat so she has a poem she was also mm. a poet in which she talks about the weary throat that is weary because of some of the broken promises of the american dream but oh, still wow. hope is able to come out of it because she thought hope would fuel social change and here she is immortal immortalized on money because i think currency or money is where nations honor their Absolutely. heroes and immortalized immortalized by being on our money well that is in really your pocket fantastic. circulating right now so it's in your pocket yes. you can look for it this is a display copy that's proof uh, proof from the u.s mint the Wonderful. proof copy but it's also that's in your so pocket incredible well thank you so much for thank being you. here truly incredible we'll be right back with more news